In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a journal entry for prepaid insurance. So let's say our company pays $4,800 cash up front in advance to get a one-year insurance policy on a work truck that we own. Okay, so we're paying out $4,800 of cash, so you see that cash is going to be credited. So we're going to credit cash for $4,800, but then we need to debit something for $4,800, and we're going to debit prepaid insurance. So you'll see that this is an asset account because we've got one asset account going down, which is cash, so assets go down, but then we're acquiring another asset in exchange. So assets are going up. So we get one asset, prepaid insurance, it's something that has future economic benefit to us, and then one asset is going down. So total assets still equal liabilities plus equity. Now, at the end of the first month, Okay, so, so we've paid for this insurance, we've got this prepaid insurance asset. At the end of the first month, we have to record an adjusting journal entry to recognize the passage of time and to realize that, okay, now one month of our one year uh, insurance policy has, has gone by and, and we've used up some of our insurance policy. So what we're gonna do is if you take, so there's 12 months in a year, so if you were to take 4,800 and divide it by 12, you would have 400 per month. Okay, so we're gonna credit the prepaid insurance account, we're gonna credit prepaid insurance for $400 after one month has gone by. We're going to decrease it, okay? Now, what are we gonna debit? We're gonna debit insurance expense. Remember, expenses are recognized when you incur a liability, which is not what's happening here, or you use up an asset, which is what's happening here. So we bought this prepaid insurance and we recognize it as an asset, but over time, we don't have as much of the insurance policy left. After the first month, we only have 11 months remaining. So we only have 11 months left. So our asset should decrease. So we are decreasing assets here. Now, what is the effect of debiting an expense? Well, that's ultimately going to decrease stockholders' equity. At the end of the period, remember expenses get closed out to retained earnings and, and so forth. So equity is going down, assets are going down. At the end of each month, we're gonna make the same adjusting journal entry. Where we're gonna debit insurance expense and credit prepaid insurance for $400. And here's what's gonna happen. Let me just show you a quick little T account. So we've got our prepaid insurance here. And we normally, so or excuse me, at the start, we start out with 4,800, but then after one month, now we've credited prepaid insurance for 400. So after one month, we would be at $4,400 would be the, this is the amount that would be on the balance sheet. If we, at the end of the first month, if you went and made a balance sheet and you looked at the prepaid insurance asset, it would say $4,400. Now, after two months, we would, so we would again make this journal entry and then it would be at 4,000. And at the end of a year, it would go down to zero, assuming this was the only insurance we had, we didn't buy more insurance and so forth. So basically, we're recognizing this asset at 4,800. So we're originally swapping one asset for another, cash for prepaid insurance. And then as time passes, the insurance policy is being used up and we're making this adjusting journal entry to expense the asset.